You want me to look in there, you say? Well, all right. I don't, I don't see anything. Now? Oh. Uh, <clears throat> Good day to you, lords and ladies. I'm Lizzie May, personal housemaid to President and Lady Washington, and I'm here to answer all your questions about the Washington's home and plantation. Uh, so don't be shy now. Oh, look at here, it looks like we've got our first question. Go ahead, honey. What's your favorite part of the plantation? My bed. How did you get to be housemaid for such a distinguished founding father? Did you see the advertisement in the newspaper? Did I read the advertisement in the newspaper? Why, yes. It said, wanted, one housemaid, no pay, preferably mulatto, saucy with breeding hips, must work 18 hours a day, seven days a week, no holidays, but you get to wear a pretty dress, and if you're lucky, you just might carry some famous white man's bastard child. So, you better believe I read that, and I ran right over and said, sign me up. You know George Washington? Oh, aren't y'all the sweetest little dumplings? Yes, I know George Washington. Well, you must be a million years old. Old? Well, thank you. I just celebrated my 28th natal day. And you know, that makes me 116 in slave years. <laughs> what a blessing. Next question. Hi, I'd like to know, how long are your work days? Well, ma'am, I get in the house about 4 in the morning, and I don't leave until 9 and 30 at night. Oh, no. Yes, I know. It's a crying shame. Yes. What if Mary Washington wants a cup of tea in the middle of the night? Well, I don't know any Mary Washington, but I know Martha Washington, and she don't drink tea when she's asleep. But what if she needs something? Well, if she's ill, I sleep on the floor by her bed, and I'm there to take care of her. But even if she's not sick, she might need something. Tell you what. If you're so worried about the Queen Mother's sleeping arrangements, why don't you come on down to the plantation and I'll give you the honor of working my 18-hour shift, after which you can stay up all night and stare at the old bat while she sleeps. How did that sound to you? Well, I... Mm-hmm, now she done changed her tune. Let me ask you something. What do you do when you need something in the middle of the night? I, uh, I get up and get it. Well, all right then. Didn't I read somewhere that George Washington actually freed all of his slaves after he died? Well, I don't know nothing about that because he's not dead yet. But even if he was, it would make no difference to me. Like most of the people around here, I'm owned by Mrs. Washington and her brats. It's gonna be a cold day in hell before I'm free. I don't understand. How do you have a show? Well, what happened was President Washington was supposed to be here, but he says he's too busy. And when he doesn't want to do something, he just gets one of his slaves to do it. So here I am. Now, why don't you just go to Massachusetts and go to school? Now, why are you going to go and ask me something foolish like that? I don't think it's foolish. I think going to school is a good idea. That's not the part that's foolish. How do you expect me to get up to Massachusetts? What, am I going to sprout wings and fly? No, you could, um, ride a horse. Oh. So now I'm a horse thief and a runaway. Well, if I'm looking for new and exciting ways to get myself hung, I will remember to call on you. Where do your kids go to school? <laughs> uh.